I'm sure you've heard his name. Maybe you bought your car from him. Now he is a published author. Joining us to talk about his new book, Mr. John Heaster. The book is called Why Jacob Matters. First of all, thank you for taking some time to visit with us. Oh, glad to be here. Thanks for having me. We were talking just a moment ago about the, the title, and it's very interesting because Jacob is a real person. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, Jacob was a guy that we hired that, uh, you know, every business can relate to a Jacob. It's that person that you hire that 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 fit, checks every box, you know, uh, career-minded, uh, articulate, bright-eyed, and and doing great. We engaged him. He was succeeding, and, and all of a sudden, he turns in his notice. And uh, and so we had put a lot of effort into designing this program that, that attracted these people to our industry, and, and uh, all of a sudden, he's turning in his notice. So... Um, so basically it goes through the story goes through how I went and chased him down and and uh, you know he had a good reason for leaving but but I he he said John I guess what you're asking me is why am I not staying and he listed eight or nine reasons why he wasn't staying and and uh, and so you know I begged him to stay and I said look give me a chance and I'll try and address these things and that's what the book does it takes you back and sees it shows you how we addressed each of these issues and they were they were good issues they sure. were real and I imagine from a, a management standpoint there's uh, has to be a certain amount of introspection that goes on at the same time stopping and realizing and thinking about what you're being told oh absolutely you know it was humbling you know you could you know the, the in fact the book talks about how the student becomes the teacher because in that situation you know I could see the flaws you know one of the things that he talked about you know we talk about core values and every company's got them and every company you know hangs a little uh, pendant on the wall but but you know what Jacob revealed to me was that you know, yes, we used them as a way to decide who fit our company, but but what he showed me was that our core values were not only that, they were a promise from me that we would surround him with people that embodied those characteristics. And and it caused us to go back and look and say, oh, you know, some of the people we have in leadership don't necessarily embody these. They're great for who you're bringing in, but do the people that you have uh, demonstrate those? So so it was it was eye opening, it was humbling, and and uh, and and. I think the story does a good job uh, of showing people the mistakes. Well, I think it's you know obviously going to be a, a great uh, resource for a lot of people who are in management, somebody hoping to advance into a managerial role. Uh, we want to make sure that we get out where people can go buy it. Absolutely. So you can get it at any of the conventional, you know, Amazon, Barnes sure. & Noble, all those things. But the best place to get it is to go to uh, whyjacobmatters.com. There's a link on there. It's a good price, and um, and it's a, and it tells you a little bit more about the story and about the book. So. Well, and I think it's also neat to be able to connect with a, a local author, and especially if somebody whose name you've driven past probably <laughs> over the years. So I like that, uh, that connection to it. And, again, we genuinely appreciate you taking some time and wish you a tremendous amount of success on the book. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having me here. And John Heaster is also a proud partner with CBS 17 and sponsors our weekly visits to first responders. We take lunch to one group every Wednesday to thank them for everything they do.